Hi, so just following on from the um, part one of this tutorial, we looked at the stability of the intermediate, really, the carbonium ion uh, that's formed when we lose the FEST molecule, the water molecules, a good leaving group. So now we're going to have a look at the migratory aptitude, and that's basically which group will migrate uh, during the pinnacle rearrangement, the 1 2 uh, sigmatropic shift. And what I've done here is I've just I've just replaced one of the methyl groups with a tertiary butyl group, and just to differentiate between uh, methyl groups on on one side on the right hand side in this uh, this drawing, I've kept the methyl groups on the other side. So we've got the same carbonium ion. We've got tertiary carbonium ion, which is relatively stable, and we're just going to have a look at see what happens when when this um, electron collapses back in to give a carbonyl group here. Okay, so we've got to decide now which, which group will migrate. And it's usually the one that's got the most electron density in the carbon-carbon bond there. So if we look at the tertiary butyl group, that's got methyl groups pushing electron density into the carbon. So that carbon-carbon bond should be pretty electron rich. But remember, when we do these practically rather than just on paper, we're going to have a mixture of compounds that come. But using a Boltzmann distribution, if you will, uh, the tertiary butyl group will be the one that's more preferred because it's got it's got the most stable uh, transition state and intermediates going forward. So you have um, the product out of this particular reaction is the tertiary butyl group that's migrated. So it's the most electron uh, rich uh, carbon that can migrate. We'll take a look at another example in part three. So bye for now.